Hi guys and welcome to another review. This time I'm going to be focusing on the third laptop in my unrivaled curriculum saga. If we can get that auto focus now, this time we're doing uh, pre computer genius that I recently got up from eBay back in March, and it was a pretty fun laptop, similar to that of the PC Pioneer. You got your AC adapter and your headphone jack plugged in there. If I could show you the back of it, it has a battery compartment. Wait, if I could turn on the light. It has a battery compartment in there. Now the thing about the VTEC laptop is that it is clear because you can see the technical bits in them. So it's so it's easy to see what is inside that glitch box so that you can be able to see what it's like when you disassemble it. So anyway, I'm just going to open it up for you. If I put my phone down, I will open it. Now, when you open up this laptop here, as you can see, it's similar to that of the PC Pioneer, but it's coloured in blue. You have your homework wizard. You have an India, Indiana Jones character. There's a lot of activities on there that you can be able to look at. We'll come to the activities in a minute. There is the contrast and there is the volume. You've got your list of activities down there. There is the QWERTY keyboard. And of course you've got your five functions. The cartridge, adventure mode, the system setup, the quick tag and the demo mode. So without further ado I'm just going to switch it on. Now when you start it up it feels very similar to the PC Pioneer because basically you have your two options. You have an adventure mode where you can be able to go back in time with Douglas Daring which is the main character of this toy or you can go on to normal mode which will, tell, which will be able to send you to the category section so I'm just going to go to... Normal mode Normal at the mode. moment. And now we're just going to go on to spell it. No, no, no. Let's check out the activities. I mean, there is language arts, which is English, maths, logic, foreign language, foreign languages, trivia, homework wizard, and tools. So. I'm just going to show you a game of... I'm just going to show you an English game real quick called Spell It. Spell It. Choose the question. Now, in this game, it feels similar to the PC Pioneer because you have to pick a pyramid and then it plays you an animation and you need to type that word in. So, for example, Douglas here, he's going to that Choose treasure... And I'll enter it. How do you spell marble? See, it's telling me to spell the word marble, so I'm just gonna -A -R type the letters in. Marble. 
Choose the question. We'll go on another treasure. How do you spell look? L O X Z C J K Marvelous. Choose the question. So here's your spelling game, but it has the similar to animations to that of the PC Carol? Pioneer. G A E R A G E. Well done. Choose the question. Well, I'm just gonna have to exit. Choose an activity. And we'll go on to mathematics. So let's just choose an activity, choose an activity. from the mathematics section. You got your addition, your subtraction, multiplication, and division. So let's just go on to addition. Sum it up. What is the correct answer? Five, one, fifteen. Marvelous. What is the correct answer? Five, four, forty-five. Excellent. Now the thing about the pre-computer genius is that every time you get a question wrong, it will show you this animation. Five. Oops, try again. Yeah, that happens, so I'm just going to put in the correct answer. No, 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 no. Sorry, try again. Yeah, that's because the mouse's mouse cursor is blocking away. What is the correct answer? Let's just exit it out and move on to another Select activity. Select an activity. Hunt. Find all the treasures. There are six treasures. Now, the thing about this game is that... It's more like a precursor to that of the Windows Mine Sweeper you get today. So I'm just gonna show an example right there. There are two treasures, so there are five. I just find I just found treasure, but when you press when you click on a piece of rock, this will happen. If I get a shield treasures. or Either I get a shield or I there step onto three, an enemy. There are two treasures. There is one treasure. Yay! I've got a yeah, I've drawn the game perfectly. But when you get when you click on a piece of rock, either a shield or an extra life or an enemy will pop up. So you're more likely to get the treasures. When you get onto a harder level, that the treasures will get even harder and harder. So let's just go on to level four, for example, just to show you how hard these treasures are. So there are. So as the levels progress, the rocks here get wider and wider as they spread around. For example, I click on the question mark and there's happened to be three of them, there so... Are 11 treasures. 
Oh, I just stepped on an enemy. That's what happens. There are ten treasures. There are nine treasures. Yeah, you get the point. So let's just move on to another category, which is trip. No, foreign languages, and we've got a Spanish translator, a German translator, or a French translator. Three of which have their testers as well. So <coughs> I'm gonna go on to French tester first. French translator. French translator. Choose a word or phrase and look for its French translation. For example, since I'm really good at French. I put in, I am fine. I am fine. Je vais bien. Again, that is the same voice used for PC Pioneer, but then again, it is in cartridge format, unlike the pre-computer genius, where it's rolled up into one. So, yeah. I'm just going to have to show you French Two, tester really, really quickly before I move on to the next category. French tester. Correct French translation. The answer was filled. Excellent. Choose the correct French translation. Stomach. Um. Well done. Yeah, that would give you an idea of what a French tester would look like. Choose so. The correct we got Zebedee. Zebedee well is Saturday, so I'm just going to have to leave leave the activity and choose an activity and go into another category, which is trivia. You have science, globe travel, which is geography, extinct or rare, and famous find, which is invents which is named as Inventions in PC Pioneer. Unfortunately, though, this trivia games, these trivia games, they do not have the computer-related trivia games. So I'm just going to show you the Globe Travel game, Globe travel. otherwise known as Geography for the PC Pioneer. Choose the correct answer. What language is spoken in the Ivory Coast? Choose the correct see, answer. It's, see, it is really slow because when it's scrolling when it's scrolling to the right you can't be able to actually see it because it scrolls up to the it scrolls to the right so and it's really slow so I think Excellent. it's probably French as the correct answer because it's living the, the Ivory Coast answer. what is the highest mountain in Canada. Right then, so if I get sidetracked and select the correct answer, this would happen. So, Sorry, try again. yeah, that gives you an idea of what this trivia game looks like. So, yeah. Select now we have to move on to Homework Wizard. It's basically the same thing as the PC Pioneer, but with a few functions. So, for example, we've got Word Recall, Typing Challenge, and Time Tutor. There is a Database Mathematics Challenge, and there is a Tester, but unfortunately that didn't come with a pre-computer genius. Select an activity. So I'm going to have to go on to Typing Challenge. Which you can find on the cartridge of PC Typing Pioneer challenge. as well. Type as fast as you can. Select 
even when I'm typing, I can't actually be able to keep my accuracy long enough. Keep in mind that if these words come into the bottom, then unfortunately the game is over. That word has disappeared, I mean, judging by the spikes they have on the bottom, so... Now we're just going to have to go on to tools, which is the last thing on the list. Notepad. Type in your own text. I typed in just doing a review and um, you can either choose picture or you can be able to erase it by pressing the new button you can either save it open it or maybe delete it there is a RAM cartridge Unfortunately, I don't have a cartridge, but I just noticed that on the keyboard there, the question mark and the flash, flash sign, it went up, so, so it's quite hard to be able to get to it, and the colon is up there, along with the catastrophe one. Don't know if you could see, but that's just what it is. So let's just exit and an go on to the final one, which is adventure and mode. So what happens is that story. So what happens in this story is that the aforementioned Douglas Daring is not going home unless he is unless he is unless he is getting the jewels from the past and future to operate a time machine so there are four checkpoints right here so it would give you a reminder that you have at least 45 minutes to complete the challenge so we're going to go on to synonyms also known as it's the same as Usually when you're 45 minutes is up, it will give you an animation right there. I'm not very good at German, but... So, yeah, that just gives you an example of the adventure mode type of game. There is also... There are also other activities I want to try out, but unfortunately I can't right now. And as with the cartridge, the eBay, the eBay article says that it doesn't even have a box that came with the cartridge. So unfortunately, I'm kind of sorry that I didn't be able to get it. So, yeah. So anyway, that's going to wrap up my review of the Precomputer Genius. Thank you for watching and as always I'll see you next time. Don't forget to hit the like button if you want some more or as always you can comment on your opinions or or you can hit my or you can hit the subscribe button. See you next time. Bye.